TV is boring. Watch art instead. Hello. Welcome to Coloring Corrine. I'm Corrine. I'm a model, artist, filmmaker, psychic, and television host. Today I'm here with Eve Ewing. Hi, my name is Eve and I'm an artist in residence here at the Boston Children's Museum. And the title of my project, which you can come see today, is A Map Home. Eve is a part of the current artist residency program at Boston Children's Museum. But what is an artist residency? An artist residency is when an artist comes and works on their art in a place that is different from where they usually work. They talk to people, they think carefully about the space, and when they're done, they usually have a new work of art to share. Eve has been working with or in the museum for over a month, and the exhibit, A Map Home, that you see in the gallery, is a result of all that hard work. Hi, my name is Eve. Eve, I've heard that making art is all about making pretty pictures. Is that true? You know, some people think that art is all about making pretty pictures, and that can be really nice and special. Pretty pictures can make us feel good. But as human beings, sometimes we don't feel pretty or good things. Sometimes you wake up and you feel really angry or you feel really frustrated. Sometimes you're confused about something or you have a problem and you don't know what to do about it. And sometimes you feel really sad. And it's important to have art that shows those feelings too. It's important to have art that sometimes asks questions more than it answers questions. Because being confused is part of being alive. Why are you an artist? I am an artist because I have a lot of ideas and because I like to try things and I'm not afraid to make mistakes. And being an artist is a lot about making mistakes. And I'm also an artist because a lot of people really love me and support me. And when I was young, my mom and dad said, we like your art and it's okay to make art. But even with that, sometimes I don't feel like an artist and I kind of have to make a decision every single day when I wake up. I'm gonna be an artist today and I have to try really hard. It's not something that always comes naturally to me. How do you find the time and energy to make art? It takes so much time and energy just to eat lunch and go to school and do all the things we need to do to be alive. It can be difficult to make art when just being a survivor on the planet takes a lot of energy. Our world is really difficult and full of hard and scary things. And I'm an African-American artist, and that means that my family in this country has a lot of history with really difficult and challenging things. But one thing that I notice when I look back in history is that sometimes some of the best artists are people who made work because they were struggling. So for example, here in Boston, there's a very famous poet, and her name was Phyllis Wheatley. And she was the first African-American woman to publish poems. And she had been a slave, and she talked about that experience. It was a very difficult and challenging thing in her life but it helped her be a better artist. And so I look back at the history of people who have used their pain and their challenges to make art, and I know that that's important because whenever you make a decision to do that, you're choosing to teach other people about how the world is hard, but also about how it could be better. And so that's why I make art even though surviving is hard. What is this project about? What is this project about? This project is about home. And home is really important to me because sometimes a home can be a place. It can be a house. It can be a place where you feel comfortable. But sometimes a home can be people too. Sometimes if you're with your family or your friends or people that really love you, even if you're not in your house, even if you don't have a house, you might look around at those people and say, I really feel like I'm at home right now. And so home can be a place, but home can also be a feeling. I have lived in Boston for five years, and when I first came here, I didn't feel like I was at home at all, because I come from another city very far away called Chicago, and that's where my mom is, and my brother, and all the foods that I like to eat, and all the places that I like to go were very far away. So it was hard for me to feel at home here. But then I started to make a lot of new friends, and I also started to look around and see all the things that are beautiful and special about Boston that are different from the place that I call home. Eve, this project is called A Map Home, but it doesn't look like any map I've ever seen. You know, I know that a lot of people are gonna come and see this project and they're gonna say, that's not a map. I've never seen any map that ever looks like that before. But if you really think about it, a map is a bunch of pictures and symbols and words that give you information about a place. 
without being exactly the same as that place. So for example, if I wanted to use a map to get from my house to the Boston Children's Museum today, I might look at a bunch of pictures and words on my phone or on a piece of paper. But that's not the same as actually being at the Boston Children's Museum and looking and seeing the river going by and the buildings and the people and all this beautiful day that we have here in Boston, right? And so what the map does is without me being in the place, it gives me information about what the place is like and how to get there. And that's what this project is. It's information about places and people and things that I love and that are home for me. It's not exactly the same as if I actually took you to Chicago with me or if I took you to Paris with me or other places that are important that are represented in this project. But it's me as an artist giving you information about how those places make me feel and why they're so important. Eve, thank you for taking the time to talk about your art with us. And thank you everyone for taking the time to watch Coloring Crane. If you have questions for Eve, look for the Ask Eve box. I want to say a special thank you to Boston Children's Museum and Alter Project for making this all possible.